Nigeria anti graft Agency, ICPC, arrests bank manager for preventing ATMs from dispensing new notes. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. A manager of the First City Monument Bank, FCM branch in Osubo, Oshu State Capital, has been arrested for allegedly preventing automated teller machines, ATMs, loaded with cash from dispensing money to customers. The sole person of the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC Azuka Ogugwa, in a statement on Friday, said the cash bundles were loaded into the ATMs whilst they wrapped and as such could not be dispensed through the machines. The ICPC compliance team in Oshibu has busted an FCMB in Oshibu, Oshun State, where ATMs were loaded with cash with the wrappers unremoved, thus preventing the cash from being dispensed. The team therefore directed that the wrappers be removed and the cash loaded properly. However, when a follow-up visit was undertaken the following day to sustain the level of compliance, the team discovered that one of the ATM was still loaded with the wrappers unremoved. The operation manager of the bank was arrested and taken in for questioning. Also, the commission said the seven point of sale POS operators and a security guard were also arrested in Oshun State over alleged extortion of residents, noting that it is investigating the activities of the POS operators as it has been revealed that they get cash from filling stations but they then resell, to the, resell the cash to the public at exorbitant rates. The ICPC said that the arrested persons are helping the commission with information to assist investigations and bust any syndicates involved in the hoarding of sales of the resonated, resonated notes. Similarly, the anti graft Commission said that it had taken the branch service head of Stambik IBTC Bank in Dede Abuja into custody over deliberate refusal to upload cash into the branch's ATMs even when the cash was available in the bank and people were queuing at the ATMs. The ICPC spokesperson stated that when the ICPC monitoring team stunned the bank at about 1.30 p.m. to ensure compliance and demanded an explanation as to why all the ATMs were not dispensing cash, it was informed by the branch head of operations that a bank just got delivery of a cash. However, facts available to the ICPC operatives indicated that the branch delivery took of a, that a branch took delivery of a cash around 11:58 a.m. and either willfully or maliciously refused to feed the ATMs with cash. Against this backdrop, the ICPC team compelled the bank to load the ATMs with the redesigned Naira notes and ensured that they were all dispensed before arresting, arresting the corporate. Investigations are still ongoing and the commission will take appropriate actions and as soon as they are concluded. Now, do you know the one that even Penny made the most? Most of the people you go to them, they sell 5,000 for 1,000. As in, you go use 6,000 by collect 5,000. As in, you go give ATM 6,000. I, I said ATM, POS, they'll give you 5,000. And you know, these things happen with the old Naira note too, I'm sorry to include, with the old Naira note. I am telling you, it is that bad. Imagine person will be said before he make that 5,000 Naira. In see, in see heaven come down. And then, in order to get your money back, you have to pay triple. Did I say triple? You have to pay almost, it's not 100 Naira. You have to pay times 10. Times 10 of what you used to pay before. Hmm. Who do us this kind of thing? Who do us this thing? No, no, no. What we are facing now is bigger than arrest. CBN and back when they should turn Nigerian, Nigerians who gave 10 million to bandits while innocent Nigerians are struggling to get 5,000, 10,000, or 20,000 from bank. That is another big question. How did the money got to the bandits' hands? How you use fly into the bandits' hands? Where the and bandits can't even come outside? They do video. They tell us, say, and uh, Serbina, the new news where they say they no go fee gets. And they don't get them now. They mock them. Corruption in Nigeria deserves capital punishment. I mean, very quick one. That is pure wickedness and crime against humanity. So these people go to filling station. They get cash from filling station. They transfer. It is kind of um, faster. I mean, you, you know, I want transfer money now. No one carry cash worker. Then they collect this money from the bank. I mean, the filling station. And then go to sell it. Hmm. Ah, now wow. Cashless is a good policy, but the policy has to be done perfectly, not wickedly or selfishly. Correct. You withdraw three trillion, but injected not up to five hundred billion in a country where more than seventy-five are digitally illiterate, just trying to cause chaos because you lost chance to conduct.
for presidential election. Uh, okay. He is waiting for Bala Blue Bulaba because he is in so much need of a colored narrative. <laughs> Make him leave me. This is not funny. Why must everyone in position of authority take advantage of and exploit their fellow citizens who cost Nigeria? And let me now blow. You know, you know the one that blows my mind. Even if another person gets there, it is going to still be the same story. That is a good one. If people are held accountable for violating laws, maybe things would have been better. Exactly. You see all those things that our politicians are doing. Paraventure that they don't have immunity as things they as things they spoil. Then they can't pick them up immediately. You get some things where I would they jump up for. I they tell you. You see the problem where it starts and you come out and said CBN are not releasing the new notes. So that is for those who are accusing the CBN. Say they don't release new to the bank people now in the grip pay. Whether they won't sell up. Now you know, no. This one, this is one out of thousands. This is the same old story part. I they tell you. They need to arrest all the bank manager. They have one or two rich men who will sit at home and call them to reserve money for them. Of course now. Uh-uh. They should give a close marking to the Lagos land of very well because he will be planning seriously on how to maneuver. He is working with top bank officials. Bank managers seriously should be seriously cost check. Oh, thank okay. you. Good. In fact, any bank manager that the ATM is not dispensing cash should be arrested. He decide we take some drastic steps in this country. How about those bandits brandishing the new Naira notes? How did they get to them? That's one. That is what I'm saying now. That's one, as in, I fear but I no run. They should jail him right away. No need for taking him to court. Well, they have to take him to court now. They get personally they take court for this country, except to these Fulani people. And they tell you. Corruption in Nigeria. Okay. My own is at the end of the day. How these people use they get all this money? Nine the bar for me. When I heard about this policy, the first thing I said, if, you know, it is going to be solving a problem for us, if it's going to be solving a problem, no problem. Hmm? If it's going to be solving a problem, no wahala. As in the problem of crime, you know, of, of crime, criminals will not get a hold of the new Nera notes and all of that. But alas, it is like all the purposes of them redesigning this Naira. You will like say all of them has been defeated. Nigerians like Jim Masu, we can open in the eyes of vote wisely. All right, and this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.